and welcome back. We are going to be watching episode two of the Time Banded series. Fun times. Now, just a little reminder about yesterday's episode of the Time Bandits episode one. I was appalled. They took history and just made shit up. And overall, the acting fell flat. Everything fell flat. The whole show f is falling flat. That episode one, abysmal. In fact, why am I still here? I'm here. I'm going to be watching this episode. You, on the other hand, let me know down in the comments below if you want to see more of the Time Bandits. And yes, I will try to be making a few videos about the characters that they present and every character that they present. I will be looking into at least for a short bit on these review videos to tell you if what they say is true or if they just flat out lied. All right, let's get started. Oh, dear God. Well, I still kind of like the opener. That's at least something, right? So they are in the Ice Age trying to pawn Kevin off to Neanderthal, saying that's your family right there. So they accept him back in the group and yeah, figured out that widget was wrong or whoever this widget is about the timing right place wrong time this person here is like all right let's bring him back to the right time and a joke about do you want to lead like don't we lead equally so there's that fell flat ah uh, yes i see where we are where are we i don't know but i see it you know you know these Jokes would probably land better if they weren't so monotone. I'm going to be called a racist for that one. Aren't I? So from Neanderthals to the classical Mayan period. So I want to say this, a hot take, right? I never thought Friends was very funny at all. Lisa Kudrow, not funny at all. Sorry, not sorry. Wow, I wasn't expecting this. I should probably play it so that you can all hear exactly how um, sacrificing worked. Here's the thing. I read that the Maya would select certain people and give them the time of their lives. Yeah, she's so good. No, that's not the thing. They would burn them, peel their skin off, then they'd cut the head off, then they'd open the guts, then they'd put the head in mm. where the guts were, then they'd take the guts and shove it on a tree, take the fingers off and put them in the mouth of the head, and then they like, cut the ears off and then sacrifice them to the gods. Oh, Holy God. crap! No. So, I couldn't find exactly the way they described it. Actually, not at all. I'm not discounting it just yet. I believe it's going to need a little bit more research than what I have time for right this moment while I'm watching the show. But I did find this Diego de Landa witnessed human sacrifices. He tells us that the sacrificial victim was painted blue. Next, the victim was led to the summit of the pyramid and laid over a stone altar. Then, with his arms and legs firmly held, by the chats, the Nakam cut open the chest and tore out his heart. This was usually done with an obsidian or flint knife. Next, the heart was handed to the high priest and the body was thrown down the temple stairs. Also, other methods of sacrifice included drowning, beating, mutilation, and arrow sacrifices. In the arrow sacrifice, the victim was painted blue and tied to a stake while dancers took turns trying to pierce the victim's heart. And they immediately got caught. But it looks like they're uh, friendly. So here they meet Lady Suck Cook. Let's look into her. All right, so I looked her up. There really is not a lot about her. 
I found a few French sites uh, talking about this character. I kind of get the feeling that she's an insert. So, you know, the Wikipedia page is just as good as any other. There really is not a lot to say about Sakuk, also known as Muwan Mat, Lady Sakuk, and Lady Beastie. Died 640. Was queen of the Maya city state of Palanque. She ascended to the throne in October 612 and ruled until 615. Her biography her father was Janab Pakal and her mother was Yol Inknal or unknown. As Janab Pakal seems to have had no male heirs. She ascended to the throne on October, 19th October, 612, a few months after her father's death. After his maturity, her son, Hinich Janab Pakal I, ascended her, uh, succeeded her as ruler on Lamat One Mole. She seems to have continued to wield considerable influence over Palanque in the early decades of her son's reign. For example, Sak Kuk is recorded on Pakal's sarcophagus. Lid as the ruler who created the sealing of the Katun on 25th January 633 AD. She was probably mother of Ajahn Joel Matt. That is basically all we know about her. I will look into this character a little bit more, but I actually feel like going through Google, at least it felt more like this character was an insert to say, look, we have queens. So I will say this peasants or strangers probably wouldn't normally be invited to the temples or to the palaces unless they were. But in this scene, I I do want to point out, I do like the actor who's playing Bitlick and Alto. They are, I enjoy their, their acting. They're not the worst out there. She's asking how to be a good leader and how to break the glass ceiling. Kevin asking the right question. Is there a ritual reason for this feast? I mean, what do I do best? Oh, well, I don't know. I'm sure you're good at something. My mom and dad say it. I always do the wrong thing. My mm. mind busts that. They say that to you? Out loud like that? Well, you are wrong about the Maya preparing the Maya preparing us for sacrifice. But I mean I'm sure you're not wrong about everything. Feels like it sometimes. Almost a heartfelt you moment. You I guess now they realize that they're going to be sacrificed. Kind of hope that it's going to happen. And and in the show right here. It didn't get really far. A noble sacrifice, I guess. Or not. I feared this was coming. And yes, I was hoping that they would sacrifice all of them and the show would be over. But I, I saw this coming. Of course, the Mayan didn't human sacrifice. Why would they ever do that? Oh, these accounts come from the invaders of the Mayan territory. Right. They made it all up. There are no such things as human sacrifices. So here, Kevin reminds everyone that Cassandra already gave away the entire story of what they need to do. And this would be jumping off of a cliff. Yeah. Cool. At least it was funny for me to know that they kind of understand that their show sucks. If only subconsciously. So they got back the very moment they left. Widget got something right for now, but, you know, now they're scared of the Supreme One. But Kevin points out that they actually haven't stolen anything, and then they give him all of his toys back that they stole, so. His parents are jerks to him again, and now they all witness it, and they feel kind of bad for him. So, the adventure continues! Probably. Well, his parents were burnt to a crisp from the demon huntress that the evil one sent. 
Interesting. Now the Huntress is going after the map. Oh, we get to see the Supreme One. Taika Watiti. Oh, Lord. What is even this? I, I have no idea what this is. And the episode is finally over with. Wow. I will say this. It was actually a little... Well, no. I actually wanted to say it was a little bit better than episode one, but... No. It actually wasn't because, you know, them pointing out that the Mayans actually didn't sacrifice humans. And that it was all the invaders who came and made up stories about them. Yeah, not quite. Now, before I let you go and before I end this, I do want to show you this to... To prove to you that it it wasn't the invaders who said it. So this is pottery from the Mayan Empire. Depicting them sacrificing humans. This is not something that invaders. Invaders. Depicted. Or told. Now this is actually from the Mayan Empire. Pottery depicting human sacrifices. So, anyway, I want to thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed this review. I certainly didn't. Well, I mean, partially. I didn't enjoy it because the show is really, really bad. I enjoy showing you what the show is about. And I'm actually kind of looking forward to doing research into the various characters and time periods, like how the man did human sacrifices. I did a little bit of research during the show, trying to find stuff out, but I gave myself only a half an hour, so I might need a little bit more time to do that, to find more out, because I want to know for a fact if Kevin was right or wrong in this, how sacrifices should supposedly work because I couldn't find any within a half hour. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, smash that like button. Consider subscribing, and if you do that, hit the bell for notifications. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Take care.